Prepare and mark the hose per Procedure 1100, General Preparation Instructions. Select the correct double bolt clamp from the current Dixon price list. Either slide the correct number of clamps over the hose before inserting the coupling or, as shown here, remove one bolt and saddle, place the clamp on the hose, then reinstall the bolt and saddle. Tighten the bolts by hand, making sure the saddle is under both clamp bodies. Using the socket, continue tightening the bolts until equal thread is showing past both nuts. Place a mark near one nut to indicate the starting point for the tightening sequence. Starting with the nut having the mark near it, tighten one full turn, or four quarter turns as shown here. Adjust the saddle, if necessary, by tapping it so that it is squarely under both clamp bodies. Tighten the opposite side bolt one full turn, or four quarter turns. When the clamp is firmly against the hose and the saddle no longer moves freely, position the saddle so that the saddle loop is slightly off-center towards the bolt head. Make sure the saddle is squarely under both clamp bodies. Continue tightening both bolts equally until they have reached the recommended torque value listed for that clamp in the current Dixon catalog. Notice the bolt is slightly bent. These bolts are designed to bend so the clamp can properly conform to the hose circumference. For multiple clamp installations, place the next clamp on the hose. The clamp lettering detail, example Dixon V and C, should be facing the same direction as the previous clamp. Also, offset the clamp saddles. For our three clamp installation here, the saddles should be placed at 60 degree angles from each other. Again, snug the bolts equally by hand and place a mark near one nut. Tighten the bolts one full turn, each alternating back and forth until both bolts are tightened to the recommended torque value. Place the next clamp on the hose. The lettering detail should be facing the same direction as the other clamps. Position the clamp saddle at a 60 degree angle to the previous clamp's saddle. Tighten the bolts equally by hand. Place a mark near one nut. The tightening sequence will be the same as the previous clamps. Also, as with the previous clamps, make sure the saddles are properly positioned. Tighten the bolts to the recommended torque value. Notes: Number 1. If the hose has a helical wire, contact Dixon prior to installation. In some instances, the helical wire may prevent the clamp from sealing properly. Number two, periodic bolt retightening is necessary due to cold flow, which is present in all rubber hoses. Number three, double bolt clamps, including their bolts, nuts, and saddles, are for a single use only. Once removed, please discard. Number four, torque values are based upon dry bolts. Lubricating bolts will adversely affect clamp performance. Number five, for multiple clamp installation, the saddles must be offset to prevent a leak path. For two and four clamp installations, offset the saddles 90 degrees apart. For three clamp installations, the offset is 60 degrees. Number six, place multiple clamps so they are equally spaced over the available area. Never place a clamp near the hose end as it may walk during tightening, reducing its effectiveness. Number seven, if necessary, the length of bolt past the nut can be safely removed with bolt cutters or a hacksaw. Do not use a die grinder or blowtorch. The excessive heat from these methods will weaken the bolt. Inspect the assembly using Procedure 3001, Bolt Clamp Inspection. Test the assembly using Procedure 4000, Hydrostatic Testing Information, and Procedure 4001, Hydrostatic Testing. Dixon, the right connection.